Your cell phone is killing your health and your sleep. In this video, I wanna explain the mechanisms through the light, through the mental stimulation, and even through the electromagnetic fields. And I wanna share with you how you can actually have your cell phone and coexist with technology while still having healthy mind and body and physiology. Now, I wanna start off with the light aspect. I've made a lot of videos about this recently because it's so foundational. For optimum human health, you need to protect your melatonin and make sure that when the sun is down and it is dark at night, you're not blasting your whole system with light. Now your eyes have photoreceptors. That's what enables you to watch this video. And one of those photoreceptors is called melanopsin, which absorbs blue light. And when blue light is absorbed by the eye, your melatonin gets suppressed massively. And melatonin is this master regenerative hormone. It regulates your immune system. It helps clean your brain. It has anti-aging properties. It aids in weight loss. It helps you with your gut microbiome. So imagine every single day that you're using this device, a phone, a computer screen, a TV, that is blasting your whole system with artificial light out of sync with a natural sun's rhythm that is making your whole physiology hijacked and making you weaker on every single level. So we gotta fix that. The first tip I have for you is to go into your phone settings right now and turn on something called night shift mode. At least that's what it's called on the iPhone. This is basically where when the sun goes down, so figure out when your sunset time is, you turn this on. And you wanna decrease your screen brightness to make it the least amount of brightness possible and then make it that orange tone, so the more warm sepia tone. This will massively protect your eyes and your skin. You gotta do that pretty much immediately and your whole family should have blue blocking glasses. If you're having a lot of lights at night or you're watching TV as a family, you need to protect the stuff. It's so foundational, because even if you're focusing on exercise and nutrition, if you're still blasting yourself with those artificial light, your whole system is getting a completely different signal that's not biologically consistent, and your health will suffer from this. So you gotta protect the light from the phone. But maybe even more damaging than just the light impact on physiology is the fact that these phones are making us so addicted. They're influencing our neurochemistry tremendously. We're always getting new text messages pop up. If we use social media, there's always these new hits of dopamine. We're getting flooded with so much information. And when we're getting all this stimulus, it's actually influencing our neurotransmitters. We're getting these hits of dopamine that later make us feel depleted. We're always on edge because there's always something binging and buzzing. And all this stuff is making you more reactive in all areas of your life. Your phone is making you more stressed. Your phone is making it more likely that you snack on bad kind of foods because you're looking for these new hits of neurochemistry. And because you're also getting into the habit of every time you get some kind of urge to check your phone, you say yes and you go check it. So next time when you get an urge to have a cookie, guess what, you have that same neural pattern that's gonna be very reactive and responsive. So this thing is really interfacing in a fundamental way with your psychology and your nervous system and how you're managing things. So just understand that it's impacting you on a pretty deep way. The third aspect that I think needs to be talked about a lot more is the influence of electromagnetic fields, particularly the non-native EMF fields that come from these cell phones. These cell phones kick out microwave radiation at quite high levels, especially when you get the new phones with the really advanced antennas and stuff like that. And there is a preponderance of research. I'll actually link a document in the description if you wanna go deep on this. I prepared like a 30 page document that shows that EMFs, the non-native EMFs from cell phones, have a whole wide range of impacts. They damage sleep. They can increase anxiety. They can impair, impair mitochondria function. They can cause more leakiness in the blood-brain barrier. So all this is happening too because you have a small microwave that's exerting blue light that's on you all the time making you feel addicted. You can see how that might be a little bit of a problem, right? And it's not surprising that we've seen just this massive skyrocket of chronic diseases in developed countries. A couple hundred years ago, we didn't have diabetes. Like rural doctors did not know that diabetes existed. Obviously part of that's the food, but there's a lot of new researchers that are now showing that the impact of EMFs from phones actually junks up the electron transport chain in your mitochondria, backs those whole things up, and can lead to insulin resistance and some higher glucose levels. So like, this is fundamentally linked. Here's my suggestion for you. At night, when you're obviously wearing those blue blockers, you've got the night shift mode on your phone, do not sleep with your cell phone right next to you. The thing on the EMFs is they, they have such a mitigation. If the phone is even five, 10 feet away from you, ideally 10 feet away from you, the amount of EMF that you're exposed to drops by like 80 to 90%. So even just the proximity effect. So if you're used to looking at your phone late at night and then putting it right next to your nightstand, you're basically getting blasted by a bunch of microwaves unnecessarily throughout the entire night. And my suggestion is put it in the bathroom, put it on the other side of the room, put it face down, and ideally don't be checking the phone right before you go to bed. And these things seem simple, right? It's so much more sexy to wanna to focus on what kind of diet you're following or what kind of fancy workout. But look, light, and these electromagnetic fields are as fundamental of an influence on your physiology as anything you can eat or do. 
And if you don't get this right, you're constantly pushing a giant rock uphill. But if you start to create some boundaries around technology, if you start to understand the influence of light, you start to create healthier sleep hygiene, your whole well-being is going to enhance massively. A lot of people who end up taking some breaks from their phones over the weekend find that it's their most peaceful and happy day. So maybe you go ahead and have a ritual that one day of the week for you, you actually just take a phone break. Tell your friends and family, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You put your phone away and you go just enjoy life without the cell phone. That was how you and I grew up, right? Without the cell phones. Let's get back to that connection. And our kids now that are growing up with these constantly, they're getting wrecked. They're getting blasted by all the lights of the games and the TVs and the constant screens. So for us as parents too, we need to understand how fundamental this is. Our bodies are meant to be synced up to natural law. And what natural law dictates is that we have a light dark cycle. And natural law dictates that our earth has a natural electromagnetic field that is healthy for us. And these non-native EMF fields are damaging us too. So at the very least, I know you can't get rid of your cell phone permanently, but you can at least protect your sleep environment and help it be a lot better. And I will also link a shit ton of this research. And I want to say shit ton because I spent a lot of time doing this, particularly on the EMFs in the description. So you can really see that I'm not just making this stuff up. There is hard science backing all of this, particularly the fact that people sleep better in areas where there's less EMF, the non-native EMF. So check out the description if you want to go deeper on this. But more importantly, if you're inspired by these videos on our channel, and you really want to get your family's health on track, your health on track, and you want to start to create some sustainable routines and not just consume videos and get some fun information that's inspiring for a little bit, but actually make a real lifestyle change. My team and I, we are the best in the world at that for dads and moms over 40. We have our Fit Father and Fit Mother programs. Collectively, between the two programs, we have over 75,000 people go through the programs and get life-changing results because we optimize everything, your sleep, your mindset, your habits, your nutrition, exercise, and we do it in a way that's simple and sustainable. So check the links in the description if you want to learn more about our programs. We'd love to help you personally inside of them. And either way, take a couple action items from this. Get the filter, sleep further away from the phone, and also be very cognizant of the fact that these phones are making you addictive and affecting your neurochemistry. I hope you found this message powerful, my friend. If you have comments and feedback, like message below. Let's keep this discussion going. Some things that really resonated with you. If you actually want to like understand this EMF stuff deeper, put comments below. I'll link to the document as well. I need you to know this information because I want you and your family to be healthy. This is Dr. A signing off. I'll see you in future videos, hopefully in our programs. I'll talk to you very soon.